Right, good morning everyone. It's uh, now a week to go to the uh, EU referendum, this uh, momentous vote that's going to take place next Thursday. Uh, we're just going to start off uh, talking about the influence of the polls and, uh, and then move on to talk about how these have influenced Sterling and then end up by looking at the outcomes of what we think uh, will happen uh, with regards to this referendum vote. So with the polls, there's some confusion because um, recently the polls have been putting the exit camp ahead of the Remain camp. And yet, if you look at the betting agencies, they are showing that it's still a probability of around 60% that uh, we remain. So just to explain why that is, this is because of the undecided voters. And normally, uh, there are quite a few undecided voters and they normally stick with the, the status quo. And so that's what the betting agencies are expecting will happen, even though the people that have definitely made up their decision, um, the, the majority are voting out at the moment, then in, actually it's the undecided voters that may tip it back into the Remain camp. And all these polls and uh, betting agencies and probabilities are all influencing Sterling. So if we have a look at the barometer, since the start of the year, Sterling Euro opened up at 135, and we forecasted that if we were to exit, uh, the impact on Sterling would be approximately a 20% move to the downside, uh, which would lead to around the 108, 110 area. And what we've seen so far is Sterling's come off, it's, it's been down to 122, as it looked as though the probability and possibility were around 50-50, which would make sense because the 10% downward move is 121.50. And then we've had interventions from the IMF and Obama, and that's helped the Remain camp. And actually, the probability went as high as 80% that uh, we would remain, and that's what led Sterling Euro above 130. But since then, there's been a fight back for the exit camp, and we've seen Sterling slightly on the back foot and back down to the 125, 126 area. So there's been lots going on, all influenced by the, the polls, getting ready for this big event. And then it's, you know, next Thursday, we're all going to go and vote. And then by Friday morning, we'll know the outcome, whether we're remaining or whether we're exiting. And just go through how we think it's going to look. So <coughs> let's say we do exit, and studying Euros at present levels, 126. What do you think is going to happen, Andy? Well, I think in the scenario where we exit, uh, there's definitely going to be some further depreciation in Sterling. Um, and I think, you know, looking at the barometer that you were... Uh, very kindly uh, created. Um, I think you know the risks are down towards sort of 110, maybe just below. Um, factoring in all of the uh, influences in terms of sterling, um, the outlook for the economy, the uncertainty, which no doubt will obviously increase in the event of a Brexit. Then certainly, I think that that impact on sterling will be felt. Maybe not immediately, um, yeah. but certainly, I think you know in the in the in the days you know following the vote, I think there'll certainly be uh, further pressure on sterling. Uh, taking it down towards that sort of 110 level. Equally on the flip side of that, mm. in this scenario where we see a Remain vote, I think that will be seen as quite a positive for the economy. Um, certainly it eliminates obviously the uncertainty over what happens to the UK economy and its membership of the European Union. And therefore I think there's certainly some upside in sterling towards probably about almost 10 cents from where we are today, so around about the 135 area. Yeah, so I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be busy day Friday, but uh, I think when the decision comes out, the, the market's certainly going to gap. Uh, so you won't be able to get, you know, let's say we close on Thursday at 126, coming in and if we have ex exited, I think there will be a gap and like you say, moves down to 110 over time. And likewise, if we stay, there's some pent up demand for sterling, perhaps a relief rally back up to 135. So I think overall we stick to our message, proper preparation. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. You know, you really can't kind of leave something like this to chance. Um, and uh, as we get closer to, and we've already started to see it, you know, the market's become quite choppy. As we get closer towards that uh, that referendum date, you know, people are going to be more and more nervous and the potential for swings is going to become ever greater. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, certainly the more forward planning you can do at this stage, the better. Fantastic.